Aerodynamics is the study of how air moves around objects. It is a branch of fluid dynamics that focuses specifically on air as the fluid. This field is crucial for understanding how aircraft fly and how to design them for optimal performance. Aerodynamics explores the forces that air exerts on objects in motion. These forces, primarily lift and drag, determine an aircraft's ability to fly, its speed and its stability. The principles of aerodynamics are not limited to airplanes. They apply to anything that moves through the air, from birds and insects to cars and rockets. Understanding these principles is essential for designing efficient and safe vehicles. Aerodynamics is the backbone of aviation. It dictates the shape of aircraft, the design of their wings, and even the materials used in their construction. A deep understanding of aerodynamics is essential for several reasons. Firstly, it allows engineers to design aircraft that can generate enough lift to overcome their weight and stay airborne. The shape and size of the wings, as well as the aerofoil design, are crucial factors in lift generation. Secondly, aerodynamics helps minimise drag, the force that opposes an aircraft's motion through the air. Reducing drag improves fuel efficiency, increases speed and extends the aircraft's range. Finally, aerodynamics plays a critical role in ensuring aircraft stability and control. The design must allow for stable flight and predictable responses to pilot inputs. In aerodynamics, we use specific units to measure various quantities. These units ensure consistency and accuracy in calculations and communication among engineers and scientists. The International System of Units, or SI, is the most widely used system in aerodynamics. It includes units like meters for length, kilograms for mass, seconds for time, and newtons for force. Another system commonly used, particularly in the United States, is the imperial system. It employs units like feet for length, pounds for force, and slugs for mass. Understanding the different units and their conversions is crucial for interpreting aerodynamic data and performing accurate calculations. Air, though invisible, is the primary medium in which aircraft operate. Its properties significantly influence aerodynamic forces and, consequently, aircraft performance. One crucial property is air density, which is the mass of air per unit volume. Density decreases with altitude, meaning there is less air mass at higher altitudes. This decrease in density affects lift generation and engine performance. Another important property is air viscosity, which refers to air's resistance to flow. Viscosity affects drag, with higher viscosity leading to increased drag. Temperature also plays a role as it influences both density and viscosity. Warmer air is less dense and less viscous, while colder air is denser and more viscous. Section 5. Wing and Aerofoil Geometry The shape of an aircraft's wings is crucial for generating lift, which is essential for flight. This shape, known as an aerofoil, is carefully designed to manipulate airflow and create pressure differences that result in an upward force, allowing the aircraft to become airborne. A typical aerofoil has a curved upper surface and a relatively flat lower surface which is key to its function. This shape, combined with the angle of attack, the angle between the wing and the oncoming airflow, forces the air flowing over the top to travel a longer distance than the air flowing underneath, creating lift. According to Bernoulli's principle, faster moving air creates lower pressure and slower moving air creates higher pressure which is fundamental to lift generation. The pressure difference between the upper and lower surfaces generates lift, enabling the aircraft to rise into the sky. The geometry of the wing, including its span, cord length and aspect ratio, also influences lift generation and drag characteristics, playing a vital role in the aircraft's overall performance and efficiency. Section six. Bernoulli's Principle and Lift Generation. Bernoulli's Principle is a fundamental concept in aerodynamics that explains how lift is generated. It states that as the speed of a fluid, in this case, air increases, its pressure decreases, and vice versa. 
When air flows over an aerofoil, the curved upper surface forces the air to accelerate, creating a region of low pressure. Simultaneously, the relatively flat lower surface causes the air to slow down, resulting in a region of high pressure. This pressure difference between the upper and lower surfaces generates an upward force perpendicular to the direction of airflow known as lift. The greater the pressure difference, the greater the lift force. Bernoulli's principle, along with Newton's laws of motion, provides a fundamental understanding of how aircraft achieve flight. Section 7. Aerodynamic forces and coefficients. When an aircraft moves through the air, it encounters various aerodynamic forces that act on its surfaces. These forces can be resolved into four main components, lift, drag, thrust and weight. Lift is the upward force that opposes weight and keeps the aircraft airborne. Drag is the resistance force that opposes the aircraft's motion through the air. Thrust is the forward force generated by the engines that propels the aircraft forward. Weight is the force due to gravity acting on the aircraft's mass. Aerodynamic coefficients are dimensionless quantities that represent the effectiveness of an aerodynamic shape in generating specific forces. The lift coefficient, for example, quantifies the amount of lift generated by an aerofoil at a given angle of attack. Section 8. Pressure distribution and lift. The pressure distribution over an aerofoil plays a crucial role in lift generation. This is a fundamental concept in aerodynamics that affects the performance and efficiency of aircraft. As air flows over the curved upper surface, it accelerates and creates a region of low pressure. This phenomenon is explained by Bernoulli's principle, which states that an increase in the speed of a fluid occurs simultaneously with a decrease in pressure. Conversely, the air flowing under the relatively flat lower surface slows down, resulting in a region of high pressure. This difference in pressure between the upper and lower surfaces generates lift, which is essential for flight. This pressure difference between the upper and lower surfaces is not uniform. It varies depending on the shape and angle of the aerofoil. The pressure distribution varies along the cord of the aerofoil, with the lowest pressure typically occurring near the leading edge and the highest pressure near the trailing edge. This variation is critical for understanding how lift is generated and distributed along the wing. The pressure distribution can be visualized using pressure taps, small holes on the aerofoil surface connected to pressure sensors. These sensors provide real-time data on the pressure at different points on the wing. By measuring the pressure at various points, engineers can create a pressure distribution diagram. This diagram helps in analyzing the aerodynamic performance of the wing. Understanding the pressure distribution is crucial for optimizing aerofoil design and maximizing lift generation. This knowledge allows engineers to design more efficient and effective wings, leading to better aircraft performance and fuel efficiency. Section 9. Calculating lift, drag and pitching moment. Aerodynamic forces like lift and drag can be calculated using specific formulas that incorporate factors like air density, airspeed, wing area and aerodynamic coefficients. These factors are crucial in determining how an aircraft will perform under various conditions. These formulas provide a quantitative understanding of the forces acting on an aircraft. By analysing these forces, engineers can predict how an aircraft will behave in different flight scenarios. The lift formula, for instance, is lift L equals 0.5 times air density, RAO, times airspeed squared, V2, times wing area, S, times lift coefficient, CL. This formula helps in calculating the upward force that keeps the aircraft in the air. Similarly, the drag formula is drag D equals 0.5 times air density, RO, times airspeed squared, V2, times reference area, A, times drag coefficient, CTD. Drag is the resistance force that opposes the aircraft's motion through the air. The pitching moment, which tends to rotate the aircraft about its lateral axis, can also be calculated using a similar formula. This moment is crucial for maintaining the aircraft's stability and control during flight. 
These formulas allow engineers to estimate aerodynamic forces and moments under different flight conditions and make informed design decisions. By understanding these forces, engineers can optimize aircraft performance, ensuring safety and efficiency in various flight scenarios. Section 10. Conclusion Aerodynamics in Aircraft Design Understanding the principles of aerodynamics is essential for designing safe, efficient and high-performance aircraft. From the shape of the wings to the materials used in construction, every aspect of aircraft design is influenced by aerodynamic considerations. By applying the concepts of lift, drag, pressure distribution and aerodynamic coefficients, engineers can optimize aircraft performance, improve fuel efficiency and enhance flight stability and control. As technology advances and the demand for faster, more efficient and environmentally friendly aircraft grows, the field of aerodynamics will continue to play a pivotal role in shaping the future of aviation.